A heartbreaking loss. Family and friends are mourning the death of a high school senior shot and killed in Columbia over the weekend. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Ritter. Now, this is Howard County's first homicide of the year. The man accused of pulling the trigger under arrest tonight. The police are still looking for a motive. WJC is live. Amy Kawada with how this young victim is being remembered and the new details in the investigation. Amy. Rick and Vic, police say 18 year old Simeon Makuna was shot and killed Saturday night while visiting a friend at the Monarch Mills apartment complex in Columbia. Detectives are still investigating a possible motive. A deadly shooting Saturday night in Columbia leaves a family heartbroken. My blood is not at home. Howard County police say officers arrived to the 7500 block of Monarch Mills Way for a report of a man who had been shot in the parking lot of the apartment complex. Police say 18 year old Simeon Makuna of North Potomac was pronounced dead at the scene. He's the one who's saying yes for anything. Even at school, he plays soccer, he likes to play like guitar. Investigators say the suspect, 23 year old Shondell Weems, fled to his apartment nearby after the deadly shooting. He initially refused to exit the residence, but eventually surrendered without incident. Weems is being held without bond and facing several charges, including a first and second degree murder. Through preliminary investigation, uh, police believe that Makuna was in that area, Monarch Mills, visiting one of his friends. Detectives say they do not believe Makuna and Weems knew one another and are investigating a possible motive. And we don't have reports of an altercation. Makuna was a senior at Richard Montgomery High School in Rockville. Just a few months away from graduating, his principal remembers him as a wonderful student with a bright future ahead. This is a kid that kind of transcended, uh, you know, cliques or, or social groups um, and somebody that, that, you know, made a positive impact really wherever he was. And Montgomery County Public Schools will be providing a support team with counseling available for staff and students. If anyone has any information about what happened Saturday night, you're urged to contact police right away. Live tonight, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.